Okay. 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 What it is? What it do? How are you? It's yeah, yeah, yeah. we good. Yeah, yeah, what it is? What it do? How are you? It's your boy Solo the Great. I got the boss man Foo with me. I got DJ Rare with me. I got Cold Milk with me. And it's another episode of City to City Mag Live the podcast, man. We coming live from Individual Studios. And tonight we got a special guest in the building. Mr. Billboard Topper. Mr. Louis Bag himself. Oh, huh? Mr. Goddamn, goddamn the first album, The Real Testimony, did number five on the billboards. You oh, understand man. what I'm trying to tell you? <laughs> Real OG, goddamn it. Oh, Part shit. of the group, USDA certified oh, in this hip hop history, street dope boy shit. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? Yes, huh? Yes, Mr. B. Rothstein himself. Yes, Y'all give it up for the one and only Mr. Blood Raw, goddammit. We back in this bitch, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate you coming to pull up on us, man. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir, man. So, you know, we ain't got too much time. We got a lot of shit going on tonight. We're going to be at Flash Dancers, all that good shit. Yes, sir. So, you know, I'm going to jump into it real quick. Already. You know what I'm saying? So, so you born and raised in, in Panama City? Like, where it all started so, for you? So, this is, what, this is what a lot of people don't know, right? Okay. So, I was born in Orange Memorial. Orange Memorial. Okay. Yeah. okay. It's not that no more that What's I've heard it? of. What is it? It's, it's a new hospital. It, what it, what it was called, we found out from somebody else. I forgot the name of what it was called, but it's something. It's a new hospital, but it's Orlando. Like, in Orlando? Yeah, yeah. Orange Memorial. Look, on the Palmer. See, We're my the Palmer dad, now. My daddy from, was from Haines City. Okay. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. I was born, I stayed, I stayed in Haines City for like, Two months and my grandma them came and got me. Mm. So ever since then I've been in Panama. You feel me? Okay. But okay. I just be wanting to let that know, let that be known no. because people don't really be knowing. I, like, you feel I, me? I ain't know. Yeah. I ain't yeah. know. Yeah. Let's take a shot of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Straight up. Straight up. <laughs> my feet print was on my birth certificate. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> straight up. Okay. So so how old were you when you started like like getting into the music game and shit? Um. Honestly, man, I probably was like uh. Like, 16 about 15 16 right okay um it was this dude from my hometown um me and one of my my close friends we started this it really wasn't a group but we started rapping together okay um but it was this dude named rock d rock we d. call him michi you feel me okay uh, we used to go over his house and he really like taught me how to write bars like okay that's why i kind of know how to structure songs so good because i learned early mm -hmm. what eight bars was and 16, 16 bars right. and, yeah. you feel me 12 bars and you know what i'm saying so I kind of use that as my advantage, you feel me? Yeah. Um, but I got to give him credit all the time because he really the one who really taught me how to structure songs, you yeah, feel me? Um, and I really didn't take it serious then, you know what I'm saying? So I had wound up going to prison. Um, mm -hmm. And when I was in prison, I wrote my, me and my cousin was writing back and forth. Okay. And, and we basically said that we wanted to start doing the music for real when we got out. For real, for real. And we just really went from there. Okay, okay. So so, so what song or, or what, what was it that got you that, that buzz? That got you on the radar to even get to the Def Jam USDA. Like right. what? Like what? What was it that got you to that point? I had two songs. Okay. Um, my block burn with Pastor Troy and Granddaddy South. Shout out! Okay. Shout, shout out! out. Granddaddy South. Yeah. Shout yeah. out! Yeah. Shout yeah. out! Granddaddy yeah. South. Yeah. You feel definitely me? shout out Pastor Troy. That yes, definitely sir. shout yes, out sir. Pastor Troy. And then I had another song called Represent. That's okay. That's you feel it. me? That's my <laughs> shit. And uh, you know, it was just a particular time. Well, I got to bring you back. Um, okay. I probably was grinding, bro, like real, real heavy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like everybody promoter-wise that was somebody in the state of Florida, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? They embraced me like out, out the gate. Like, you feel me? Yeah, uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? From good mega energy. DJs, the mega chicks, the oh, yeah. to, to to dog man. My sisters. You know what I'm saying? Sister, uh, yeah, you know, uh, Teddy T, uh, mm -hmm. TJ Chapman, like okay, T -T. Bigger T -T. Ranking, like Bigger. all these, uh, everybody that's, that's somebody. Somebody. They had their arms around me, like, Shout you feel me? Like no, like, no bullshit. Like, I was in Orlando, bro, doing shows, like, I'm talking about like at least two times a month. Damn, okay. you know what I'm saying? Good shit. Like it, I, Good I shit. literally got my deal broke, and probably like I see, see Wakely I always say it probably was a little over a year, but I say like right out a year. Okay, okay. Like we just went crazy, like you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like me and my niggas used to go to different cities, like and not really try to get a DJ to play my music. Like I really was trying to find out who the person was, who the DJ was, who the promoter was, mm -hmm. and I stayed in contact with them. Like I built a relationship, you feel me? Like calling, checking Facts. on them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Not really saying Facts. play my music, but just 
you know, mm. letting them know who I am as a person. person. You feel me? Exactly. Um, and that's why my relationship still so strong today. To this day, you know what Damn, I'm saying? Like right. most people who somebody in this from from real to everybody, bro. Like we got history. Like you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. real history. You feel me? So. Mm -hmm. And we, it's always been the same since day one. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? So up until that year, like, I never forget, like, we was in Dothan, Alabama. And okay. at this time, like, it was labels trying to sign me. You feel me? Okay. From Universal to Atlantic, um, Trick Daddy, okay. T.I., okay. Uh, Jazzy Faye, like, different people boop, was boop, interested. Boop, boop, you know boop, what boop. I'm saying? Yeah. They was calling TJ. They was calling C. Wakely. C. Wakely had Mike Karen on the phone. Like, okay. you know what I'm saying? Like, on the phone. You feel mm -hmm. me? Um. But we was in Dothan, Alabama, and, and Jeezy had a show. He had just dropped Streets is Watching. Okay. Yeah. But it really wasn't hot in, in Georgia. I mean, in Alabama, that's why they was over there really promoting. Promoting it, trying to get but it But keep in mind, Panama City and Dothan, Alabama is like... Same thing. From here to Tampa. Yeah. Uh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Quick, oh, so quick, they the already third. knew what time it was. Yeah, Plus, yeah. I used to get on in, in Alabama. You feel me? So mm -hmm. they already knew who I was, and they knew my music, like, word for word. So, like I said, he had a show. I had a show. Yeah. It was nobody really at his show. Like these facts, like okay. these facts, bro. Okay. You could ask people, like you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying. Um, so they came to my show. Okay. And they was, of course, they was over there promoting. They didn't know that I was really there at the time. You feel yeah. me? They was there promoting. And um, when they came inside, I was getting ready to go on stage, and that motherfucking represent came on. But oh shit! Yeah, yeah. And, they, and everybody went crazy. You don't stay where I stay, nigga. Ooh. You don't live where I live, nigga. You don't pay my bills, nigga. You feel me? To my, they couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. Word for word. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, man. I'm talking about instantly, bro. Like. Uh, King and Jesus put me to the side. They was like, bro, what you want to do? Okay. You feel me? Yeah. Um, so at the time, like, I had been hearing that from different people. Plus, I'm like, I'm still in the streets for the most part. So, you know, they just talking. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it is what it is. You feel me? So like, me what y'all want to do? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, and keep in mind, at the time, it was word on the streets that the feds was coming to pick me up. Mm. So, nobody, none of my niggas knew. But I'm like, yeah. I'm trying to say to myself, like, bro, I, you need to get legit in anything you got to do to get legit, which it really wouldn't have mattered, but still, still you know what I'm saying? Gotta, it gotta did matter, it. though. It you feel me? Matter. It <laughs> you know matter. what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just saying it wouldn't yeah. matter because they, if they're going to come get you, they're going to come they get you. Come get yeah. you. Yeah. It don't matter what you got going on. But luckily, you yes. feel me? That was part of a reason, like, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, man, like, uh, my partner Chuck, who used to manage the group, I mean, the Producers Justice League, Okay. Oh, well, had, okay. Yeah, okay. you know what I'm saying? He had been saying my name, and they was working with Jeezy at the time, Jazz Faye at the time, you feel me? But mm -hmm. he had been saying my name in Atlanta, like, this is this nigga from Florida named Blood Raw. He next, like, you feel me? Yeah. So they had Coach, I mean, um, Coach K had done came to T, um, TJ DJ to see me perform and everything, like, okay. you feel me? Um, yeah. So it was just a lot of stuff going on, but yeah. for me, one of the reasons why I made the deal of of signing with CTE is because yes, got out of all these people coming at you. What made you choose CTE? Well, uh, more than one reason. Like for okay. one, I honestly felt like you know that would understand my music. It would relate to where I come from. Mm -hmm. You know That's, what I'm saying? Which is important. Is 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 definitely important. Mm -hmm. Um, and and we really sat down. You know what I'm saying? And that was our agreement. Like you feel me? Like okay. you know. Um, but you was CTE. And signed to Def Jam at the yeah, same time. Yeah, I was the only time. artist. I was the only artist ever signed through so, CTE Def Jam. Ooh, ooh, that's big. Like, yeah, like, just, I mean, just, you know, a lot of times when I talk about this situation, bro, like, you be having niggas on the internet be acting like I'm just bringing it up. Like, yeah. these are questions no, no, that no. I answer. You nah, feel I mean, me? Yeah. So, yeah. and I have to tell my truth. Like, Damn you feel right. me? So, it's just yeah, like, want to hear your truth. of course. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm just, I'm just being honest. Like, I was the only artist signed to Def Jam. Def Jam. You know what I'm saying? Of course. The group USDA, we had a project yeah. on yeah. Def Jam, but for a solo artist, Blood Raw was the only artist signed. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Right, right. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah. it was just, you know, it was just one of them things, hey, man. Yeah, hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. I, no, I, I, yeah. I, 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 Exclusive. Yeah, yeah, I remember, yeah. I, nigga. I remember going in the kitchen, nigga, and I always popped y'all niggas in for. Oh man, I, better I got believe in that motherfucker. Better goddamn, believe all that motivation music for me. Goddamn it, better back believe in them it. days and shit. And Cold milk. <laughs> <laughs> Cole, Cole Bill, I, you know, I asked a thousand questions up this yeah. motherfucker. Oh, man. I'm saying this with you. Talk to me. Oh, mm -hmm. nah, you know me and Blood go back for mm -hmm. sure, but we ain't gonna go all the way back then. <laughs> but I'm gonna say. The represent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I've been printing times back then. I tell the motherfucker, 
I, I think I got quit from a job. <laughs> I tell him. You don't pay my motherfucking bills. Straight up. 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 But like, like blood all we had. What me? Blood all we had. The really shit. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. For sure. This shit yeah. go back to. Oh, yeah. yeah. This shit go back to. When we was in, we was in Anson House, nigga. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah so straight, straight up. When I first met blood. Yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? That was back in the day. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know. That was them. Them. Them, them jiggles was sliding around. <laughs> yeah. Blood. I said, hey. I, I said, blood. Well, we going to the Caribbean. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Straight yeah. up. The Caribbean has to be. Plus, say, fuck it, let's do it. Oh, oh man. Bad yeah. boy. Yeah, we, in the, we always been in the streets. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. We yeah. always been out here, man. But but I do like to say, though, you know what I'm saying? Blood. You no, know, I ain't going to say blood back. It's just real music back now. For sure. Real yeah. music For sure. back. God damn. For sure. For sure. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you, and, 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 and while we all here, I'm going to tell you what I, I'm going to tell you what I need. Yeah. What you need? I need a. Blood Raw DJ Real Mixtape. That's what I need. Oh, that'd, that'd, that'd be dope. That'd be dope. That's easy. That'd be dope. Hey, that's easy. That's easy. Hey. DJ Rare, uh, 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 hey, hey, you know, hey, you know, hey, you know all in one push. That's what I want. Hey, right, now, now, check this out. Okay. Me and Blood already talked about that. But listen, <laughs> I'm going to just do this right fast. Because sure. I ain't really got no questions. I mean, I have questions, but I ain't gonna, I don't, that ain't, we got a better relationship. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to give you flowers. I commend you and salute you on adjusting to this shit. For sure. You want a few niggas that I see that's willing to, you know, the social media. Right, of course. Like, yeah. I'm yeah. like, dog, do it. Like, well, we, we got a personal relationship. Yeah, so for sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? But for I sure. want to say it publicly. Like, that shit means yeah. a lot. Cause, yeah. And then you ain't afraid to interact. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Most niggas, when they get them yeah. blue checks, yeah. They, yeah. Get, they get uh Hollywood. Oh, yeah. 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 Talk your shit, I'm going to be real. honest, though, they real. Turn. Like, you know what I'm saying? That, that's really my strong point. Like, that's what I've always done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was fuck with the people. Like, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think that that's the reason why I'm still here. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got some die hard fans, bro. Like, yeah. they've been riding. Yeah, we, we fuck with you. I'm one of them. I'm one of them. For sure, for sure. But that nigga said, man, sure. I got blood raw. I said, stop playing. Oh, nigga. Oh, you done jumped off the dress. You done jumped off the dress. With the elbow, nigga. Straight up. I never could get on the dress. Blood, I got. Oh, I do got a question. Okay. Okay. I don't know how sensitive it is. Let's get it. Your cut, that's my dog. Yeah. Mike, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, and he that, doing his that, thing. That, 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 I, I just said this song. I'm proud of him. You feel me? Mm -hmm. He doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? He done adjusted. He um, he doing the, the pro promo heavy in okay, Panama okay, City. Okay, Bringing okay. shows and yeah, you know what I'm saying? NFL back. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Right NFL Everything back. come full circle, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I got one thing too, but hey, we at Flash Night. But if <laughs> if somebody bring me, me and Blood Raw. Two frozen cups with pineapple at the bottom. Listen, man. I'm trying to tell you. Man, I'm trying to tell you. Straight up. Straight up. Hey, ain't no. You bring them up. So, for real. So, 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 for real. So, 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 the music taking off and uh -huh. kind of moving to Atlanta. Like, how, how was that transition and that, that adjustment of, you know what I'm saying? It's just starting to take off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to leave the hometown go. Mm -hmm. Like, how was that transition and shit? Uh, it really was easy, though, to be honest. Um, okay. I just always had a bigger picture, bro. Like, mm -hmm. of course, I come from a small city, but I just always had a bigger vision. Yeah, yeah. That's when I started doing music, I my vision was to be like the people on TV. Damn right. If I can't be comparable to the people on TV, then I ain't gonna do it. I don't wanna do it. Like I pressed up my I pressed up my music from disc makers. Like I got my shit mixed from real engineers. Like I bought beats from people like Lil John and Pastor Troy. Like you know what I'm saying? Big producers. Like big producers. You know what I'm saying? It was just like you use the best gate. Like you feel me? I just that's how I had to do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you gotta honestly think to yourself. Like you gotta say to yourself, if I put my music in. Does it compare to the just the sound of what everybody else doing? Yeah. Absolutely. If it don't, then you got something to do. You, you got, got work to do, you bro. You got work to do. You're right. Yeah. You're right, bro. You're right. And when you were talking about the relationships earlier, I be trying to tell other artists like, man, y'all got to build those relationships, man. That shit yeah, man. be important. Or you are gonna get that that that, that fuck nigga fee that that I oh, don't yeah. know you fee. Yeah. You build a relationship that should be so much more motherfucking smoother, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I wish we wasn't like on a little time show. I got a, I got a lot of questions. Let me man. tell. Let me tell you. Get, let me know? tell y'all some songs to listen to from Blood. Okay. <laughs> y'all need to go listen to the Hush intro. Better believe because okay. he come on. I'm saying everybody dying. I'm just trying, trying to live, live baby. Yeah. I'm taking penitentiary chances, trying, trying to feed, feed my kids. kids. Okay. Baby deserve the best. They don't know, know nothing else. else. Yeah, you gotta listen to that. Right. 
if, 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 if you wasn't paying attention, go back to work called Feel So Good. Yeah. That'll yeah. do his thing on that bitch. Oh, that yeah. was the hush uh, intro? Yeah. What you yeah, the hush, hush yeah. intro, yeah. Remember yeah. yeah. when I first seen him put it out? I was like, oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah, when you had, yeah. had played with me, I was like, oh, yeah, I got him. I gotta make that shit my ringtone. <laughs> yeah, uh, you got uh, if you want to go back, you should go back represent. Yeah. Oh, make sure you listen to indictment papers. You understand the story he was telling us about yeah. with the feds. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, I've been a whole lot of things, oh, but I ain't no. never been a fuck nigga. Oh my god, I'm for real. Oh yeah, yes, sir. Uh, yeah. On my theme with well, all on the trail, like, nigga. And then you got the USDA song, which yeah. that's commercial, yes. but still, yeah. We all know man, we Blood stood shit, out man. on Corporate Thug and he stood we started most of the CD, but the corporate yeah. thug is out and uh, this is a strip club announcement. Oh, man. If you a nigga, you been in a strip club, you heard that song. So come yeah. on, man. Come on. Be give me that you gotta you gotta give me the part. Look. You gotta give me that part, man. <laughs> you you told me a part of it. I discovered a part. What's the part you say they've been jumping off the dress? Rick Flair. Yeah, Rick Flair. I be jumping, jumping off the dress. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but look, I'm gonna tell you the I'm gonna tell you the wild I'm gonna tell you the wildest thing, blood. Yeah. So, you know. I be in in and out of flash and shit. Okay. So, so they like <laughs> So look, you know what I'm saying? So they like, like who is blood? As soon as I say jumping off the dress, yeah. they say that's him. Yeah. That's him. That's him. That's him. That's him. That's him. I say, man, look. Up. I told him, I say, look, I say, now look, now listen. <laughs> If y'all can't bring no dresser in here, he ain't jumping out. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, so, so they might have a dresser in there, so we walk in that bitch and it's a dresser. Yeah. I'm sorry. We're going to make world stuff. Okay. Hey, got too. Okay. Because yeah. they expect you to jump off that dresser. Damn. Dresser, dresser. But I jump off that bitch for you, though. Oh, man. Because I ain't going to put you in a fucked up position. Straight up. As soon as I see the dresser. Yeah. Oh, man. When you perform. You're going to leave your Nikes on. Yeah. Oh, oh! I got on these expensive Crocs tonight. Oh, I got these expensive Crocs. Yeah, got I got up. exclusive Crocs on now. Straight yeah. up. He ain't seen nigga with these Crocs on. Come on now. Oh, Straight man. up. Come on, man. Shout oh, out to man. Kanye, man. He ain't got shit to do with Crocs. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I was hey, trying to tell you. I apologize. Let's get back to it. I apologize. Oh, oh, you uh, know what I mean. You know. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, That's all you. So, up. so, so you know, at, man, at the height, man, when mm -hmm. everything was going good, bro. You right. know what I'm saying? It's like, like, what, what happened to where it's to the point where you kind of like left the scene and kind of. You know what I'm saying? Like, basically, my question is like, boom, everything going good. Number five on the Billboard, goddamn it, number nineteen on the Billboard, like shit going good. Yeah. And because there was a question, I always wanted to know, like, like what what happened where it kind of does kind of went left a little bit. Um, it went left early. Early. Yeah, I just you know, bro, like when I consider people family, that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, my brother, you yes, my brother. Sir. Amen. Damn you know right. what I'm saying? Like I don't, I, I, the code that I stand on is is the original code. Like Damn you feel right. me? Like I, I ain't been in a breaking. You feel me? Um, but just different little things, bro. Like you know, um, it first started when I when I went through my federal case. Like you feel me? Yeah. yeah. Um, like I ain't get absolutely no support. Not that I needed any money or nothing. Nothing. Well, but, but I like my sister went to the label to get my contract. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And just them having her wait in the office for like two hours and nobody never coming back out. See, that's that flaw shit. You know what I'm saying? That's that flaw shit. You know, just me going to court and no representation from a label mm. to be like, you know, he's really signed. Yes. You feel me? Like, yes. He ain't You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just career. small things. So I, so I overlooked it when I got out. Everything was, you know what I'm saying? You know, I just start, you know, doing what I do or whatever. And then mm -hmm. I had drop indictment papers, mixtape. Yeah, and I started doing my own shows like crazy, like just all over. And he called me like, "Bro, like you know what I'm saying? I know you give money, like you feel me, but we gonna get to a whole nother different type of bag. I need you to come in to finish the USDA album." Mm -hmm. So I'm like, "Cool." I told C. Wakely, "Let's stop the shows." You feel me? I come in, we record the album, bro. We li we literally did the USDA album in less than thirty days. Like less we literally woke up, went to the studio. Went to the club after, I mean, during the studio, mm -hmm. came back from the studio, I mean, from the club to the studio, back to the studio. and it was sunlight when we come out. You feel mm -hmm. me? We did that literally less than 30 days, bro, and hard. finished Grinding. the album. Like, for real, for real. Yeah. So, so we dropped the USDA album, everything going good. You know what I'm saying? Of course, if y'all know anything, like, USDA was an organic album. Like, yeah. we got, like, we they stopped playing our, our music on BET. 
Mm. Because they, we had a whole a thing about Christina Aguilera. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So that Jay-Z called us. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He like, you know, y'all that can't do that. Like, you feel me? Mm. So we going through all that. You know what I'm saying? We were supposed to shoot another video, but we didn't. So we did the Corporate Thuggy video. Thugging, but that's that like was, a, it was, Yeah, exactly. Like that was just a, from the cameraman. Yeah, like B-roll. Yeah, that was like B-roll. B-roll. They just that put, was all they, B-roll. They put it together. You know what I'm saying? But the album was so strong. Like, they just, was going, they just was going on for that. You feel yeah. me? So we getting ready for my album. Okay. So keep in mind, Slick Puller was supposed to drop before me, mm. but indictment papers was so on fire. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. didn't have a choice. choice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So we did the deal. We did the deal of the solo project. My album get ready to come out. We, I'm on the road. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing my promo and everything, and you know, Young Sav and and um, my other uh, road road guy uh, from Def Jam. Um, they realized that I was bigger than they thought I was. Mm. So they called back into the office like, bro, like these people love Blood Raw. Yeah, like, yeah. We got to reroute this promo tour. Oh, yeah. Because right. they, they just had me doing like small shit. Like, yeah. you feel me? So he like, nah, bro, these people fuck with Raw out here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. And yeah. um, so I came back in and um, Louis Bat was like number 19 on Billboards at yeah. the time, right? Uh-huh. So my product manager, Davon Washington, he trying to go for top 10. Damn right, we so close. My wife. You feel me? Need but he needs more money because keep in mind in my deal, they already gave CTE the money for the label deal. Mm-hmm. Okay. So okay. Shakir Stewart okay. got got God rest his soul. Yes. Yes. He telling me, and at the time, Snake, my manager, he telling us like, bro, we know how hard you go. We know what you do. We know everything, bro. But we gave them the money already. Uh, so the so money dumb. that they supposed to be spending, they not spending in the right places. So, so just miraculously, mm-hmm. my product manager, because he going hard for Blood Raw, bro. Yeah. He going hard. You know what I'm saying? Miraculously, he gets fired. Stop oh, it. Damn. Stop it. This is the only person in the building that, for the most part, know well, about me, me my yeah, story, and how to promote me. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So... All these things, bro, is going on, and I'm not really telling my people because you already know, like, when you tell your family or your friends, bro, they like, it's like you dealing with a girl. They're going to see her like that the rest of their life. Yeah. No matter if you forgive them or not, yeah. that's how they're going to see them. Yeah. You know, and you yeah. know what I'm saying? And you know what, blood? And I don't mean to cut you off. When you stop fucking with Jesus, I like, man, fuck Jesus. No. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I'm not being for real. I'm not being for real. Because I fuck with blood. No, because me and blood got a fucking relationship. A real relationship. Bro. When a real blood wasn't fucking with Jesus, bro, I stopped listening to motherfucking Jesus, bro. Wow. And if that shit going to. Get a bitch counsel, man. Fuck that, dog. Oh, hey. This the crazy That's thing, though. Yeah. But this, this the crazy thing. And, and like, it, this what be killing me on the internet because niggas just be talking, bro. Like, mm. I never ever said nothing, nothing about me man. leaving, never. bro. Nothing. I nothing. never nothing. ever nothing. said nothing. I just quietly yeah. walked away. Yeah. Like, you yeah. feel me? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I quietly walked away, bro. Like, okay. because I never, you know what I'm saying? I never ever, I know how people is, bro. Like, yeah. the bigger you are, the more people are gonna take your side. Right, right, Damn yeah. right. You could be dead ass wrong right. and people just go, that's what yeah, they gonna right. do. Yeah. I understand yeah. that. And it's no pressure. But no you pressure. feel me? Fuck with you. Of fuck. course. That's what exactly. we took. We, like, uh, the real niggas took your side. Yeah, mm. they gonna, like, like people who know, know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But at the end of the day, like I was saying, like I just, I just got in a space where things was going on. And then when I separated myself, we sat down for one final time. You know what I'm saying? Um, and previously before then, like the day that my album came out, it was just like, that, that kind of like, I'm just being honest, it broke my heart, like, for real, for real. Because I was at DTLR, and um, no, I was at the Def Jam building, and I was going in, um, and my sister called me on the phone. Okay. And she like, she she was like pissed off, like, like like what the hell going on? I'm like, What's, what you mean? She was like, they just, they just played a Young Jeezy and Kanye West record like 20 times on the radio, back to back. Yeah. You feel me? So keep in mind, I'm telling you, like we going for number ten for Louis. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. Louis. You feel me? Right so, so, so I'm telling my sister, I'm gonna call you back. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And um, so as I walk in the office, soon as I walk in the office, and and like this, this was like a crazy day for me, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm walking up the stairs, bro, yeah. and that's what's blasting on the on the speaker in the Def Jam. The the um the put, put on for put my on, city. Put on for my city. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So this so, nigga ate the budget. So I'm like, yeah. I'm like, what the Kanye fuck? And I'm coming there to do my double XL in my source oh, interview. Shit. Okay. So the, the the dude who over the marketing, Gabe, he's mm. like super excited. Okay. 
because Jeezy got a record that he done dropped. Right. Now keep in mind, we done had to try to convince Def Jam to get on the boat of Blood Row. Yeah. So it's like, I'm still saying to myself, bro, you got to make the best out of it. Like, you, yeah. you, you good, bro. You a hustler. Just get in the dope and you're going to be good. You right. feel me? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm, listen, bro, I'm buying magazine covers. Mm. I'm doing everything. I got my own publicist. Like, like that saved me, bro. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Kim Ellis was my publicist, bro. Like, she'll tell you, bro. Like, we did so much shit on my own. Yeah. It ain't even funny, bro. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And the shit just crazy because... Like, niggas just be on the internet, be talking. And I don't really be replying, but that shit be like, nigga, like, bro, like, y'all don't even know, y'all y'all don't even know what the fuck you talking about. Talking like, about you bro. know what I'm saying? Like, y'all you know? niggas just be talking yeah. and acting like I'm just bringing something up and hating on a nigga. Like, mm -hmm. bro, like, if I ain't had to talk about this ever in my life, I wouldn't. Yeah. Because right, right, yeah. it, it is what it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But I understand that people be want to know, and I'm going to tell what happened. Like, yeah. Yeah. it is what it is. You feel yeah. me? Cause, um, cause, cause and that, guess what? Cause, cause I ain't that, even telling it how it cause, really went. Cause, you cause feel at me? that time, because at that time, right, they didn't uh, put out the clean versions to no, be they didn't Walmart put out no, yeah. and Target. Yeah, they didn't put out yeah for the DJs to do their thing on the radio and yeah. all. Right? Yeah. Yeah. They dropped the ball on that shit. Yeah, and I mean, you know, what I'm saying I, I commend L.A. Reid for telling me and telling them, like, you feel me? Like, he don't want nothing else but a blood rock project. Mm. Oh, y'all dropped okay. the ball. Talking, I mm. talking you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like y'all dropped the ball. You don't want another USDA. Yeah, target ain't no, heavy. no, 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 no. Target ain't heavy. No, target ain't heavy. Well, fuck uh, target. Fuck target. Nah. But it wasn't no. target. It, it was the death jam people. <laughs> Man, not, I say fuck yeah. target. <laughs> Listen to me though. <laughs> it was the death jam not putting out that clean edit version to oh, go right. in those type of stuff. So, so don't fuck target. No fuck fuck target. Man, we, fuck we, fuck target. Listen, listen, listen. We ain't said listen. Okay, we I'm ain't in. saying fuck nobody. nobody. No, no, you, just no, you feel me? Like, no, talk, no, I know, I know, I know yeah, the yeah, motherfucker yeah. that made talk. So I'm just bullshitting. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just bullshitting him. He know I'm fucking with him. Yeah. Shout out, like, hey, shout out to him, boy. <laughs> when I, they know when I say fuck, I'm just bullshitting. Yeah. We ain't saying fuck nobody. Hey, so yeah. bro. You, got, you, come, you you coming off that future and friends tour? Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 How was yeah, it? I tell me, about. tell me about it. Yeah, How yeah. was it? Oh yeah, man, it's refreshing. Get back out there again. It's definitely it's definitely refreshing. Um. And I've been seeing a lot of people I ain't seen in a long time who proud of seeing me like yeah, this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? From like AG to my okay. boy Twin to like, you know what I'm saying? Even future them like, like niggas is excited about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the second leg, which start March the 9th, is going to be even crazier. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Me and Ace, we doing some real, real special. Yeah, okay. You feel me? Like, we gonna, the tour going to be crazy, bro. Like, okay. like, I'm finna set my mark like, Right. It's gonna be March Madness for real. Okay, so, uh, you yeah. got yeah. Yeah. Can I, can I, can I yeah. ask you a favor though? What's up? Oh, okay. I didn't need. I didn't need a song called "Jumping Off the Dress." God damn! Jumping Off the Dress. Jumping Off the Dress. If you gotta say, I didn't need a jumping Off the Dress. Oh man, no man. I, so, then, so you and King back together? No, we 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 not back together, well, but we brothers. Doing, okay, okay. You okay. know what I'm saying? And we do we doing we doing some business together. You feel me? Okay. Um, you know the whole the whole. The whole hush hustling to something happened, you know what I'm saying? Is you know it's coming together. Yeah. All right, all right. Okay. You got merchandise? Yeah. You got, yeah, you got yeah, definitely. Yeah, you got merchandise. Listen, oh, yeah, so we got everything. You brought me shit, blood. <laughs> <laughs> I literally flew in here today. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm gonna give you okay. the, so I'm gonna give you my address. You can send it to me. I, I have we gonna do it. Blood need, a real one now, bro. Sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. You're not sure. letting me my blood. Blood, sure. blood, sure. do, blood, blood. Do I gotta be? Sure. Man, listen. I'm just what I'm trying to tell you, blood. Okay. I, I told blood. I said, okay. hey, we that? We that's all I'm telling you. Oh, I know. Okay. I said, blood. You want to go to Caribbean? What blood? I said, yeah, yeah. And, and, and so I'm like, he don't really want to go. Understood. Why nigga let go? Understood. You hear me? Understood. Man, you we know listen, you man. Here, nah. I used to love, I used to, let me tell you, I used to love Palladium. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I used to love the after hours. Like, yeah. yeah. Heroes. Oh, and, 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 yeah, heroes. Yeah. 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 Oh, listen, bro, like, the the Caribbean, like. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Every time you came to the city, what? Come, Come on, man. man. Like, yeah, man, them was the days. Them was the days, huh? Crazy. Them was the days, bro. For real, for real. I ain't like that no more, but I, 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 Okay. Okay, okay, so for so for you to walk away from the game, yeah. What what was it? What was that feeling? What what was this? What was the 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 mind frame to say? You know what? I ain't done. Yeah, I'm gonna come back and do this thing. Like 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 what was it that got that made you say? You know what? Fuck that. It's time to get back to this shit. Um, a couple things. Okay. For one, my 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 brother Total Chaos died. Right. right so the conversation we he no. called me two days before he passed, bro. Like mm. it's on everything I love. You feel me? Um, and I had a store in Cocoa Beach, like, 
I was just chilling, bro, like just living a regular life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and he was like, "Blood." He like, "Bro, listen, man. I just had a dream about you, bitch. You feel me?" Mm -hmm. And um, I'm like, "What, man?" He like, "Man, listen, man." He like, "Bro, you can't stop doing music, bro. Like, man, yeah. dog. Yeah. Like, bro, you too raw, man. Like, you got it, bro. Like, mm -hmm. you feel me? Like, don't let nothing stop you from doing that." You know what I'm saying? And um, I had had a customer in the store, or whatever. And I'm like, "Bro, I'm gonna hit you back." So two days later. My boy Butter, his one of his best friends called me. He said, "Bro, you heard about Kate?" Like, nah. He like, man, he had a heart attack. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and I'm like, fuck. Like, I was like, that shit like broke me down. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Um, and along with people in my DM, bro, like people from in prison. You know what I'm saying? People who see me in the streets, like anywhere I go, bro. Like I done been in Puerto Rico, Jamaica, bro, and people like be knowing me, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like and, and and it be crazy because the people that be with me be shocked, like. Like nah, like I I'm a humble dude, bro. Like you know what I'm saying, yeah. you know. Yeah. And it's and it's just because of where I come from. Like you know what I'm saying. Like, you know, I know the shit that I done been through, and I know that how God done blessed me. So yeah. I don't really take advantage of that. You, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 definitely, 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 okay. I, definitely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can go to San Juan for about. A hundred and fifty dollars. You need a passport, though, right? Nah, man, no, that's, that's America. Yeah, that's America, man. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? You don't need a passport. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. My bad. I apologize. Yeah, man. Yeah, okay. yeah I apologize. I, I don't, this nigga here. I apologize. This nigga's ill. You ain't no one of them old beans, huh? No! What are the monkeys, nigga? What are the two stacks, nigga? Hey, for real. For real. Hey, but look. But that. Hey, look, but that that just verified that he really knew who he is. Okay. But, but, um, but, um, but back to it, I, I want to know, when you wrote the verse, Yeah. Jump, when you, when you, when, back no, to the just, this is a classic. Yeah, classic. yeah it is. Yeah, yeah. Did you write that or you just went in there? No, nah, I wrote it. I wrote it. I write everything, bro. So who, is, who did you jump off the dress on? Man. Okay, so. Listen. You, you no, 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 listen, bro, I could, it ain't nothing I can't talk about. Oh, okay. okay. You feel me? Uh, okay. <laughs> and it right. You know what I'm saying? Nah, it, it, right. it ain't the fact of who, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, not who. Like, we was, in, we was in the studio, right? And, uh -huh. and this is how we recorded Quick, yeah. the Quickie record. Actually, um, we was in Hot Beats, and and um, Jeezy had, we was all there together at the, at the time. Right. But Jeezy went to another studio to work. Hey, that ain't Quavo, but go ahead. You know what I'm saying? And, um... And um, I was just in the studio, and we had some chicks in the studio, or whatever. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna lie. Like, 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 one of the chicks just told me she like, um, she like, she like, babe, you gonna leave your Nikes on tonight? Yeah. <laughs> and it just came to me like, you feel me? Like, right. you know, I'm, I'm knowing Rick Flair jump off the top ropes, like, yeah. bitch, and I'm leaving my Nikes on, like, you feel okay. me? You know me, I ain't even gonna sweat her. Yeah. Rick Flair, I stay jumping off the dress. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know me. You know. And that's just where it came from. Now, okay. you know we go, you know we go way back. You know, goddamn well, Rick Flair never jumped off the fucking top rope. Shit, me. That nigga ain't never jumped off the top rope. That nigga jumped off the top rope. That nigga jumped off the top rope. That nigga jumped off the top rope. He jumped off the top rope. Yes, he did, nigga. You crazy. Now, you know I had to say that just a little bit. You know I had to say that just a little bit. Now, he did, now. <laughs> all right, so so I remember seeing some shit with Kodak Black man was saying like yeah. he want all the Florida artists to get at him. Oh, man. He want to put together an album. Right. I know the people want to know. Have, have you sent your verse or your hook or has has, has he has, did you hear? It? Did you even reach out to him? Like yeah 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 yeah. We definitely um uh, we definitely you know conversed uh okay. And I sent two records, so we gonna see. Okay, we gonna see. All we right. gonna yeah, goddamn we'll see. see goddamn. Uh, shout out to my boy DJ Showtime too. You feel me? Yes, yeah. sir. You know. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. DJ Rail, you got any questions, man? You I got a thousand, so. You asked all my questions. <laughs> we had flash dancers yes, uh, sir. tonight. Yes, sir. We had teasers on Saturdays. Uh, yeah. Y'all got to come to flash dancing. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. oh. Tampa always fuck with us. Oh, yeah, we Tam in Tampa. Tampa, go to Tampa. Friday. We in Tampa. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, you know, hey, you know when it's a rich person in here that got sandals on? <laughs> Goddamn fool. <laughs> hey, this nigga, hell, come on the job site with them saddles on. That nigga don't give a fuck, oh, boy. Oh, I do got. Now, one thing about it, now, now blood, let me ask you. Yeah. Now, um, now you you, you, you dropping the album, the, uh, all the songs on the album, right? Yeah, well, it, well I, got a, I got two albums out right now. Okay. My newest one is Back in the Trenches. Make sure you go get it. It's on all platforms. All okay. platforms. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 
my single out the way. Um, yeah, out the way. I love that. Yeah. You see how I act? I, I love that. Yeah. How the, how the um, hook go if you can? I just want to get me some money. Yeah. I just want to stay wanna, out the way. Oh, man. I didn't want to stay out. You know what? I got a little. That's how I be feeling. Boy. I got a little, little ass speaker. Let me tell you something. I got a little ass speaker, right? Yeah. I got a little ass speaker. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to tell the bitch where I work at because, you know, they'll come up there trying to get free shit. <laughs> but I put the bitch on my little speaker. Yeah. Mm. I, when, when, um, when, the, when the crew leader come by, I just want to get me some money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I be having, hey, I be, I be having white boys in there going crazy. They're like, who that is? I'm like, boy, that's my boy blood. <laughs> that's my boy blood. Hey, straight up. Hey, you out of here, so, China? Straight up. Huh? straight up. Hey, we'll meet you at Flag, man. Right. Hey, so, let Flag know we dropping. We we coming on the top with the helicopter. All right. Okay. <laughs> hey, man. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, man, I did. So, but really. I'm just glad you're back. Oh, oh yeah, for too. sure, for sure. Me but too. I can't even say you're back. I ain't gonna say like, like you left, but you know, you've you been on there. Nah, man, I tell, I tell I, when I started this year off, man, I said to myself, this is gonna be my biggest year ever, and I mean it. Like, Damn right. You know Damn. what I'm saying? Like, hey, you know what, though? I'm gonna tell you, I didn't wanna be on the skit. Oh, man. I didn't oh, yeah. wanna be on the skit. I didn't, you know what I wanna say? What? On the drum judge, I wanna say, man, listen, <laughs> I got a whole family at home. <laughs> But before I go home, I'm going to jump off the motherfucking drop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, listen. Y'all yeah. follow me on Instagram, man. Yeah, Blood Raw cool. 1. Blood Raw the number one. You feel me? Everything yeah. else, all the social media sites is True Blood Raw. Mm -hmm. T-R-U-E-B-L-O-O-D-R-A-W. And before I get out of here, man, go get my book. It's on Amazon. Okay. The story and Life of Bruce Fawson, a.k.a. Blood Raw. Oh, you got okay. one of them? I got to buy that. I got to buy uh, that. Yeah. I, I think I'm, I'm, no, 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 no. I got you, though. You ain't I got you. Shit. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. Right I did. I just, I just came with my book bag. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? All right, so yeah, let, let me ask you another that. question. One more thing, one more thing, one thing. Okay. And, 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 um, check out the movie 13 and Pine. It's on Tubi. You feel me? Pine. Shout out oh, to my brother. That? Yeah, I'm definitely in it. My, 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 my role, my, my name is Hot Rod in the movie. I run my side of town. Okay. You feel what's me? Side, um, what's, what's your side of town there? This in Statesboro, Georgia. You feel me? In um, Chinatown? No, man. Oh, oh, <laughs> this man. I thought he was going to play Chinese. Motherfucker Come Chinese. Come on, man. Already you look more like a Chinese than me. <laughs> yeah. So you need to get me in the movie then. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my nigga. boy, man, Jeremy Minson, man. Okay. Yes, sir. So, so let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. What's more important? You can even say both. Yeah. Loyalty. Or respect? Um, respect. respect. I feel like, yeah, I feel like if a person respect you, they'll be loyal. Mm. Mm. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. Motherfucker don't respect you, they ain't mm. gonna be loyal. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Because I don't you right now. GJ Real. Loyalty or respect? Oh, you can say both. What you say, DJ Real? I like respect. Respect, huh? Because. I agree with blood, say. Yeah. But motherfuckers don't be loyal. They loyal to the situation. To a certain it. extent, right? Gotta believe it. Respect me. Respect gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gotta believe it. R-E-S-P-E-C-T-V. -E <laughs> yeah, yeah, sir. I'm gonna tell you which one I pick. Which one you pick? I pick know who the fuck know who you fucking with. That's true. <laughs> know who you fucking with. That's true. I say know who you fucking with. Cause look. You gotta pick one. You got my no no. Loyalty you got motherfuckers that you, you got motherfuckers that wait a minute now. I'm telling you. You got motherfuckers that loyal to you. Mm -hmm. Loyal to the situation. Yeah. Yeah. But then you got motherfuckers that gonna res that respect you for what the fuck you stand mm -hmm. for. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So really both of them run together. They they they, they, to they me. do. They do. They do. Everybody yeah. got me. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? For for me, I, you know what I'm saying? I gotta go respect myself. You know what I'm saying? Cause you can even have a fucking enemy, nigga. I want to see you dead, but at the same time, respect you because he know what would have happened if, if, if he get caught. But I don't Suddenly, really think you know your enemy can respect you, though. Shh. To me, I don't think your enemy. Yeah, they can respect they you. They don't respect fuck you. With they you. know yeah. you about that. Thing. They fear you. They yeah. don't respect yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, hey, right. they fear you. Respect, yeah. respect, respect, respect has fear in it. Respect yeah. has fear yeah. in it, nigga. <laughs> but fear you ain't really respecting you, though. Fear, I'm gonna tell you, look now, like, fearing you is like. If you listen, I'm not finna fuck with this nigga because I know the consequences. But listen, if you scared of a nigga, you respect them. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I respect yeah. you enough not to get fucked yeah, up. Yeah, because I know, like, 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 like,
which it don't make no sense because love but, is the root of everything. But you know, everything. But, but yeah. talk your shit. But, but, you know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Love, you know, if you yeah. but you if you never witness real love, then you ain't gonna get it. I'm blood. I'm but you right. You right now, but Big blood. Facts. I done seen motherfuckers love you. No, they don't love you, bro. Mm -hmm. Listen, let me tell you something. Wait, God is love, bro. Yeah, but I'm saying God wait, is love. What I, no, no, this what everything I'm saying. come from. But that. check this out. This is what I'm trying to tell you. This, this is what I'm trying to tell you. And I, I don't want to take it there. Like, no, no, it's all okay, good. Okay, look. Let's just say a motherfucker can love they female, whatever fuck, and they cheat on them. That don't mean that they don't love them. Right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. So the love shit, just like music. I, I just, I just got on the phone with music so That means that they're not in love with them. Bam. Mm. Right. But listen. When I tell you, I they got on the phone with music social. You know yeah. music social. Yeah, right? yeah. So I'm talking to him and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, he telling me about the song Love. Yeah. See, the song Love ain't about no woman. It's about the word Love. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Me and, you know what I'm saying? I ain't dropped the video on no shit. Because I ain't, I ain't even, you know what I'm saying? He was like, hey, when he was talking to me and shit at my high, he was like, hey, bro, we ain't going to do all that shit. But music social, you know what I mean? Me and yeah. soul, he like this. <clears throat> but he was saying the song Love. It's about the word love. And then when he said that, you know, so I'm like, damn, that was up. Love is an action. Right. But we outside, bro. When my how my how my apartment is, we got a lake. Mm -hmm. So me and Music Soul Child, we out there sitting Indian style looking at some fucking ducks. Yeah, ducks. You know what I'm saying? That shit. And I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even for that saying that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm leaving let, on. Let, let me get, let me get one more. Let bad. me get one more. Let me get, get one more cold milk. Yeah, you good. I'm sorry, Cause it's, bro. Cause, cause Raw, you know what I'm saying? Like, you always had to respect real street nigga shit. So I want to ask you this question. I want to I wanna really get your opinion on this right here. Right. That's been going on on the internet, right? Mm -hmm. How do you feel about a person who snitches on somebody that's passed away and dead to mm -hmm. get out of jail? Is that still snitching? Is it like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how do you feel about that? Like, is it the same, like, no different than you just snitch oh, on your whole Oh, T.I. shit? You talking about T.I.? T.I., gangster, in general, fucking. Yeah, in general. It's like, being a street nigga, I already know, ain't no snitching. But if you do it on somebody that no passed away to get out, how do you feel about that shit, man? For real. For, for me, it's still telling. Still telling, huh? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, you know, like, if, if my grandma or... Uh, my sister or somebody told on somebody that was dead. That's a different story because they don't. No. They didn't sign up for this. No, no, they civilians. Civilian. They civilians. We talking about street men. We talking about a nigga who, you feel me? You you risking your life. You taking penitentiary chances, and if you getting some shit, mm -hmm. you got to do that. You got to yeah. do that. That's on you. Like you feel me? Mm -hmm. However, you know what I'm saying. You got to do it. You feel me? Uh, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, like. What about his? What about his kids? What about his family members? Right. What about his right, mama? Right, right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Right, 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 right. Like, exactly. You can't do that to them. Can't do that to them. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, it, we live in a we live in a generation where everybody trying to justify everything. Right. Everybody. You know what I'm saying? Whereas at the end of the day, you either real or you fake. It's right. just that simple. Just like, that simple. Ain't no in between, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I don't expect for people who don't live this life to get it. To do it exactly. I'm gonna Absolutely. tell you. Let me tell you something, bro. This. this it, it, my second federal case, right, was a gun charge. Okay. They was trying to give me 15 years, right? Mm hmm So, they tried to... I never knew about them trying to give me five-year or five-year plea, right? But my lawyer was like, they not breaking off the 15 years. So, I never forget, my sister, me and my sister get in the car, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm getting ready to go to trial, like, in less than 10 days. Minute we get in the car, and my sister just break down crying, right? And she just she she trying to convince me to take five years. Take the five. Because yeah. she don't understand, she don't get it. Yeah. Right. Like, you All know she what I'm saying? Take the five. Take the five. Yeah. And that's what this this is what a lot of family members will put you in a bad position. And a lot that of niggas pressure. well, it ain't just family members, it's niggas girls. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. You, if you seen the little, um, young thug shit where, where the nigga girl was telling him, you you need yeah, to tell. Go ahead, go yeah. and tell. You need to tell. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. niggas Come be on. seeing that type of pressure and they don't know how to stand yeah. up. They don't. You feel me? They yeah. don't. But it, when you it's when you real bro it's in you. It ain't on you. You know what I'm saying? So everybody in the world know. And even that was a test for me from God. God know how much I love my sister, but He know what I stand on. Like you feel me? I could have easily been like, that's my sister I love. I'm finna yeah, take yeah, five yeah, years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, because like, anything else she asked me to do, I do it, bro. Right, right, right. Yeah. Because I know that my sister right. love me more than anything. Right. Like, you but feel yeah, me? But, yeah. but, but the key word is, 
you stand on something. You, stand you better believe it. Like, but what that, better, why, yeah. no, this is how they ain't really standing on that. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So if you ain't, I, I, like I say, bro, if you ain't standing on nothing, and you going that bitch and you jammed up, and you ain't got no principle, you standing on it, get what? Yeah. And then your wife or baby mama saying, hey, you need to be out here with a son. Definitely. Your mind going to already click like, man, I need to be out there with my son. Oh, yeah, and yeah. not just your son, but you know, you them niggas want to be out there because they scared of they going to be fucking their girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, I, I mean, but, but, but me, yeah. me just saying that something, yeah, but you're yeah. right, yeah, yeah. but yeah. it's just like they don't really click. Like they don't, yeah. they don't really understand. They don't I ain't going to say they understand. I ain't, ain't going to say they don't understand. They just want They don't own. give a fuck what's going on, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, I can't say if bitch don't understand, cause one thing about it, if you grow, you understand what the fuck going you on. Better believe it. Yeah. You better believe you it. Understand yeah, what the fuck yeah. going on, man. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Man. And you know, hey. DJ Ren. What's the question? How you feel about the snitching on somebody that done passed away? Yeah, well, nigga, t- if you if you under the street code, you can't tell on nobody. Period. Nobody. Period. Nah, Riding right. walking. Uh-huh. You only civilian if you never played the street roller. My, that's just my personal mm-hmm. That's your point. If you view. never played or claim that street car, so let me flip it on. You could claim that. Let but me if flip you it on if you an inch of try to claim it, yeah. you you under that street rule now. So let me flip it on you. Okay, okay. But do you know let what? me flip it on you. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. God bless the dead. Don't wish nothing bad on you. Okay. But if you was to pass uh-huh. and cold milk had a chance to get out uh-huh. by using your name to get out. Would you want your brother to use Okay, but hold on. But let me ask. Well, hold on. 100%. That's 100%. On, but that's on him, right? Wait a minute. But I still but I take him. It. Okay, but I, hold on. But if, even alive, he normally walk the green mile But hold on. But you know what? <laughs> wait, wait. wait yeah. I'm going to tell you something. But this nigga got to tell me why the fuck we going on. This nigga got to be dying and telling me, hey, Go do let that. me take it. Yeah. <laughs> let me take it. Yeah. But, but, you, but, I don't mean to cut y'all blood. Yeah, yeah. But, me knowing my brother, let me tell you something. But mm-hmm. this, me knowing my brother, my mm-hmm. brother automatically, I know how my brother thinks. If this shit, if my brother, I hate to say it, if that shit happened like that, I don't know how my brother, my brother gonna tell me, nigga, you stupid as fuck, nigga. I'm up. gone. Nigga. But this, but I know how my, I know how my brother rock. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a different. Mm-hmm. I, well, let me let me explain from my perspective, right? Yeah. Okay. For me. For mm-hmm. you. Bitch, if it's a speeding ticket, I'm going to try. God damn. I agree. God damn. I do. God damn. Right, right, right. I'm not cocky. Show me the camera, God damn. Right, right, right. oh, but, but, but let me tell you the reason why I'm going to try, because it's two things. Mm-hmm. When you take a plea, that's what you get. Yeah. yeah. No appeal when, coming back. Yeah, no when you appeal. go to trial, you got all type of laws going to pass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You got technicalities that you could come back on appeal on. Mm-hmm. You feel me? But mm-hmm. when you take a plea, it's, it it's is over. what it is. Oh, it's yeah, over. yeah, 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 definitely. It's definitely. Over. And a life sentence is one, of, is one of the easiest convictions to get overturned. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. I done seen niggas born out of prison, nigga, when I was up the road, nigga. Like, how man, the fuck this nigga did that? Man, I done seen this nigga. Ju- the judge uh, granted his appeal, man. Listen. He could bond out. And we, like, we, we might, uh, we might end it on this. Man, I done seen a nigga born out that got caught with motherfucking uh, a box full of dog food, nigga, back out on the street. Well, yeah, and you know, <laughs> you know, you know man, a, lot of time, poker. a lot of times, unless you just got a, like a, a murder, you can't, they can't deny you a bond. Mm-hmm. They just do it sometimes look, to certain yeah. people. Look, this is what I said, blood. This is what I said. Yeah. I say, I just played poker with a nigga and mm-hmm. just got caught with a box full of dog food. Box full of Yeah, yeah, yeah. But listen what I'm trying to tell you. Mm-hmm. Unless the feds automatically pick him up, mm-hmm. if you a state off the rip, mm-hmm. he can get a bond. Right. Mm-hmm. If it's a feds, they automatically, you usually have to go to a... Man, I don't even think they nigga bond That's what I'm saying. I'm, 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 you I'm, usually I'm, have to go to, like, you, you got to wait, like, 10 days to go to a magistrate court to, like, Go for a bond hearing. You don't. It ain't like regular court where you just the next day you go. Well, you, the next day you do go in front of the judge, but they are yeah. gonna say you gotta you go you go you gotta they gotta schedule you for a bond got hearing. You, got you, got you know you. what I'm saying? Which they gonna deny it if you got a drug case right. for the most part. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's very rare that they let you out on drug charges. Right, right. That's yeah. what I'm saying. You yeah. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. very rare. Yeah, yeah. 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 But yeah. I was just yeah. playing poker with this nigga Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, you know man. what I mean? Yeah. I won, but I'm scared yeah. to win. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you know we got a lot of shit going on tonight, man. We, we gonna wrap this tonight, shit up. Man. We got flash dancers tonight. Goddamn, blood raw from the pop out. All them baddies from the pop out. We, e- we got an ET finger tonight. Oh man, shit! Man. Oh shit! <laughs> Somebody finna be finger popping, huh? <laughs> no, 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 we no, we ain't finger nobody. Blood we don't finger nobody. Blood. Blood. Me and Fool been doing this podcast for a little minute, man. Yes, sir. I so appreciate you coming. Man, it's in love, bro. Us, you know it. Nigga. You already For know. For real, I've been yes, rocking sir. with you since 05, 06, nigga, when I was in the kitchen. Yeah. 
Yeah, straight hey, up. Right, they be trying to get there. So hey, what's right, finger popping? Yeah, what's finger popping? What? What's finger popping? Uh, man, 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 man. I don't nigga. know what finger popping is. What's finger popping? Finger fucking, nigga. <laughs> when, when, when you're rubbing on that on that thing, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get it wet. Yeah. We call that shit the NFL. The NFL. The touch league, nigga. This nigga ah, has man. fucking crazy. Hey, what, real, what let's, let's, real, what we call? What we call flash death? I'm gonna get at y'all. The NFL. Hey man, like I said, I appreciate you for coming through. Goddamn it, city, city man. Oh, shout out to Angie, man. I got hit him with the fat Joe today. Yesterday's price. It's not today's price, nigga. Oh, man. You see what the fuck? You see who we got on the fucking couch, nigga? Let's get Real it. OG, goddamn it, goddamn it. Uh, 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 let them get him, get it to him one more time, bro. Hey, Where man. to find you? What you want? Promoting the book, the video, everything. Yes, sir. Bro. Follow me on Instagram, Blood Raw One, the number one. Everything else, all the other social media platforms, is True Blood Raw. T R U E B L O O D R A W. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Um, get my book. It's on Amazon and it's on Kindle. The story yeah. in life of Bruce Fawson, a.k.a. Blood Raw. Yes. The new album is Back in the Trenches. The mm -hmm. album before that is Hush, Hustling to Something Happen. And the new album that's about to come out in March, man, hosted by Bigger Rankings, is uh, CAB, which is an acronym, Chasing the, chasing the Bag. You feel chasing me? Chasing the Bag. That's what we're doing all 2023, man. We ain't, we ain't letting up off the gas, man. All gas, no brakes. <laughs> Let's get it. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, man. yeah. And catch me out on the future, too, man. Start oh, back March, March 9th. We start back with on uh, the first date is in uh, New Orleans, man. Let's okay. get it. Let's, Let's get it, man. Let's but get so, it, man. DJ Rail, say something, man. You a legend, too, nigga. Goddamn. <laughs> Talk to him for a sec. Oh, Close man. us out, man. A whole legend. Whole legend in this bitch. Hype plus gimmick equals buzz. Hmm. Say it one more time. Hype plus gimmick equals buzz. Uh huh. It's the formula I use for my my mixtape career and what I'm doing now with the, with the younger people. If you got hype, find you some type of gimmick and hmm. you gonna buzz. If you got a buzz and you got hype, you need a gimmick so that you can get them numbers. Hmm. A stream is thirty seconds. So think of two things every time you go to make music or not make music but release music. How can I get somebody to play my shit for 30 seconds? Mm -hmm. How can I get somebody to play my shit over and over oh. and over mm -hmm. again for 30 seconds? Right. Mm -hmm. Hype plus gimmick equals buzz. Hey, oh, man, that's a oh. billion dollars worth of and game right there. Stop falling for the myth. Oh, stop man. falling for the myth. The myth? Come on. They pay don't pay shit. Oh, man. Wait, you talking about the myth? Nothing. They don't pay that much. They, they, don't pay, they pay your much. streaming rate. They don't talking pay about your a net profit split. Myth, mm -hmm. moms I like to fuck. Huh? Myth, moms I like to fuck. No, nah, <laughs> man. No, nah, man. Oh, my man. Hey, man. My man. Hey, no, no. Let me get hey, my man. shit. We, 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 Blood, let me get we my probably finna vote you off the podcast. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, bro. He keep it interesting. Yeah. He yeah. keeps it fucking yeah. off the wall. Cold milk. Cold, Cold milk. milk. My mother said milk. Yeah. I'm thinking about milk. Yeah. Like, yeah. Nah, like nah, nah, nigga. Oh, you know, man. you know when Red go to talking that low talk, nigga. Right. Nigga talking about straight bitches. Hey, but look, yeah, that nigga low that slow now. Yeah. Well, we gonna Red get it Hey, man. Hey, y'all go follow me. Where you at? Where your auntie follow me? Cause your auntie know me. Look at this. Look at this shit. What the fuck, fly? <laughs> Hey man, City the City Mag Podcast, man. We signing out. Shout out to Intervision. Shout out to my sis Angie for keeping these cameras rolling and doing what she do. Yes, DJ sir. Rail, Cold Milk, the one and only motherfucking B Raw, Steam Blood Raw in the coming. building. We're going to be at Flash Dancers, baby. Let's get bye it. Bye bye, Spin Sun. Oh, man. Shake Sun. Hey, it's your boy Solo the Great. We signing out this bitch. Yes, sir. Uh huh. Yeah.